Hello, Internet. Praise be to God, and welcome back to more Harvest Moon 64. Alright, I just... Long story short, basically, I am kind of losing my mind over this game. Just being like, where am I at? Did I accidentally save over my progress? Blah, blah, blah. I'm on the 20th day of summer, and I'm pretty sure that that's accurate. As to relative to where my videos are at. Hope so, because if not, I am kind of screwed. It's getting to the point where I almost just want to, like, not even bother growing crops and just so focusing solely on getting to fall. But I don't think that's going to happen. I say, forget giving gifts, we're just going fishing. So this is my life now. I farm, I fish, I sleep. And that is it. Ooh, it's gonna rain tomorrow, eh? Not good enough. I want a typhoon. Yes, I am seriously going to cause a typhoon. With my time powers. I want a little more rain than that. <laughs> Jack the Time Lord is abusing his superpowers to create a natural disaster! <laughs> I am so proud of myself <laughs> for creating a natural disaster via time manipulation. I'm sure there are theoretical physicists who can back me up that that is scientifically sound. I wanted to do it before the swimming festival. This also means I need to be careful to make sure my greenhouse doesn't get bowed down. Again, by m abusing my time powers. Who's a good horse? You're a good horse! Who's gonna win the horse race for me? You are! Move, move it! Why can't I move? All's calm before the storm. Don't even think about the fact that there's a giant storm that will hit us tomorrow. <laughs> For now, we just fish. Okay. okay, the timing on this is ridiculous, because there are s several times I've noticed in recording where like, I should have caught something and I didn't. Oh. Fishing's good today. The fish must sense that there's a storm coming and they're all swimming downstream as fast as they can. My cup overfloweth with fish. Good fishing today. Much better than yesterday. Woot! <laughs> Take that, you stupid doghouse! Smooch. Prepare yourself, honey. There's a storm a-coming. Have you felt it? I like to imagine Jack just standing on his roof, like, watching as this giant storm is incoming, just like, I created that. No one else. Me! Now, the way typhoons work is that they can destroy your greenhouse. I'm gonna make sure it doesn't destroy mine by, again, using my time powers. But, I might have to reset a few times. Smooch. Alright. Making a safe state in slot one. Well, that's mighty scary sounding. What's going on there? That is the sound of a typhoon. We can't go out tonight, dear. Let's go to bed early. By early, she means literally at 6 a.m. Because we physically can't advance time. We can't walk outside of our door. We can't even go up the stairs. We are literally trapped in our house for the entire day. We can't even go f into the kitchen. What's on TV? Nothing? 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 Nothing. A whole lot of nothing. I hope you're proud of yourself, Jack. You did this. <laughs> you did this. Making a save in slot two, and we're going to bed. Because that's all we can do. Alright, that's eerie. Our chickens did 
did not say anything. Oh, what should I do? Oh, okay. She's back to talking about pregnancy stuff. <laughs> well, we got this nice happy music to contrast the utter destruction that was yesterday. That's cool. My chickens are sick. I hope my... Oh my gosh. Oh. Whew, it's Friday. I'm like, if it's Fur's Day today, I would not be able to buy animal medicine and it would be really bad. It would be incredibly bad, as a matter of fact. Oh my. Uh, okay. Let's get our brush out. The mayor's gonna come by. Okay, hey, swimming festival's tomorrow. Hey! Hi, Artie. Say, are you a good swimmer? I won the festival last year. I had to abuse time travel, but I did it. <laughs> so the swimming festival has pretty much no barons in second year. Like, you don't get any good rewards. And my greenhouse is still standing. That's good. Where did my horse go? He's supposed to be in his stable today. Guess not. Okay, we've got DeBeef, who is sick. Bullet is okay. Creamia is sick. Sean is sick. Thanks, Harvest Sprites, for nothing. And my sheep isn't even talking to me. Claire is sick. And Mary's sick! Great! See, if it's gonna be easier to count the people who aren't sick. We have one, two, we have three cows that are not sick. Guess we're running to Green Ranch to get a lot of animal medicine. I can't believe the Harvest Sprites didn't feed my animals for me. They have this shortcut through my house. No excuse. Yes, it was worth it to show that off. I really wanted to show off a typhoon in year... Uh, well, <laughs> I just wanted to show off a typhoon. And I can't do it year free, so... And there are my chickens with the dark red combs. That one's getting twice the food, apparently. They're not balking. They're not laying eggs. Look, the game physically wouldn't let me out of my house, so... I guess they're punishing me for creating the storm. That's understandable. <laughs> it's not even punishing me, it's just me dealing with the natural consequences of what I did. Alright. We've got animal medicine, thank goodness. We're gonna heal Sean first, because I he'll be the one I forget about, I'm sure. Sean's better now. Cool. It's just like magic. <laughs> what man? <laughs> what did they put in those drugs the potion shop dealer makes? Oh, the typhoon cut down some of my grass as well. That is interesting. I also did not get to water my crops yesterday, but that is perfectly okay. I am actually more than okay with that. Well, now, now it's time for the part of the show where Artie buys a ton of medicine because he poisoned his animals. <laughs> Not really. I just couldn't feed them. Why that? Hi, Doug. You've got medicine, right? Can I buy more than one? No, you have to buy one at a time. Oh my gosh, you are running a ripoff place. <laughs> I can't believe I have to make, like, five separate trips there just to buy five different fiends of animal medicine. I can't believe I have to drive all the way to work on a Saturday. All the way to work! You're my favorite cow, so we'll start with you. I just realized, Doug must instinctively know when you use your animal medicine. Because as soon as you use it, he immediately stocks it in his store again. How does he do that? There you go, I sprayed the magical fairy dust on you so you feel okay again. My horse is very talented in a variety of ways. I remember the first time I got a typhoon, it became autumn the next day, and it was like the really depressing autumn music. I'm like, whoa, I thought that, like, that was the music that played after a typhoon. I'm like, they're making me feel really bad. Like, did my farm get destroyed or something? It didn't. Alright, off to the swimming festival. That one's at the beach, as you all know. The Summer Sea Festival and the Swimming Contest celebrate the opening of swimming season, even though it's at the end of the summer. That makes perfect sense, doesn't it? It sure does, Mayor. 
the winner gets a month's supply of lumber. I don't know how much that actually is, but basically you get a bunch of lumber if you win uh, year two. Swim by pressing the A button rapidly and with the proper timing. Here we go! On your marks, get set, go! Uh, I just worked at the farm for like all the whole day before coming here. Is it really fair that I have to swim? Yes. I did some working out myself, but it sure doesn't seem so. I lost, just like last year. Ouch, my muscles are going to be so sore. Oh, it's been long, so long since I last went swimming. This feels great. I mean, Quiff, it's not like you're doing anything else. Shots fired. Wow, I didn't know I was so out of shape. The winner is already again! Wow, it seems like he's been winning everything <laughs> ever since he arrived. <laughs> the prize will be sent to you later. Let's take a picture of this special occasion! Everybody get in! Wait, really? Okay, I'm going to take the picture now. Everybody say cheese. That guy has such a funky hairdo. Today was fun, but it's back to work tomorrow. Yeah, it sure is. Cabbage is grown. Oh boy. You know what? I am making the executive decision. Apart from the plants that haven't fully grown yet, I am not watering my crops anymore unless I actually need to grow something for some reason. Because at this point I have so much money and I've shipped so much stuff and I'm such good friends with everybody that growing crops doesn't really appeal to me all that much anymore. And basically it's just making these videos take forever to produce. So yeah, that's happening. I am basically quitting as a farmer. Not quite quitting. Because I need to keep up a steady supply of cabbage to get make my wife happy. Oh, for crying out loud. Water that one up there! Thank you. And honestly, these days I'm better spend my time just fishing, passing the time really quickly. Trying to catch fish to get the best fisherman evaluation. Because at this point, I have the best evaluation from... I think everybody! Maybe... Not the fisherman, maybe. And maybe not the mayor. But that'll be easy enough to fix. And maybe not Zack, but most of Zack's stuff can be fixed by me just shipping the milk that I get every day for my cows. And the eggs that I get for my chickens. Oh, this is a nice fishing spot. <laughs> also, just to get you a nice date as to when this video was uh, recorded, I just saw The Last Jedi for the first time today in theaters. I will not spoil anything, I'll just say I really enjoyed it. I think it was in my top three favorite Star Wars movies. I will say nothing more. There you go. Oh, thank you. Our clientele has increased since we gave the bakery more of a homey feel. Really? I mean, there aren't that many people in town, so darn it. Well, this is gonna be go by much faster now. Now that I don't have to, uh water my crops anymore. I basically did some research. You need to ship like 9,000 things to get the best shippers comment, and then you need to ship I think at least around 500 milk and eggs, or like 900 milk and eggs, something like that. So, I feel like I've already gotten that. I love how the weather predictions are always 100% accurate in this. That's really nice. I think today I'll start handing out presents again. To get the mayor's best comment at the end, but like everybody's combined affection needs to be at like... Uh, like 15,000 or higher or something like that. It's a high number. Now, granted, all the girls at Pink Heart combined together 
roughly equals a thousand right off, right from that, even a little more than that. So I'm not too worried. It seems harder for my wife, but it wouldn't bug me if she didn't do housework. I never- oh, really? Okay. At last he's saying new stuff. Take care of your body, don't depend on medicine, eat right, get lots of sleep, live life the right way, and you won't catch cold. But if everyone did that, I wouldn't have much business. <laughs> okay, that's weird. Get out. Run away from the creepy potion shop dealer. <laughs> do I have an eggplant? I do. Here you go, the midwife. Peaceful days are boring days, eh? If you don't take action, nothing will happen. If you want things to happen, you have to get out there and stir things up. Oh, so you're saying I should, like, give people weeds? Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. You seem to have gotten used to this village. Yeah, I've, I've been here for, like, a year and a half now. Hey, Harris. Whoo, it's hot in the summer. I'm not good in the heat. Oh, sorry to hear that. Here, Harris, have a fiend of cookies. Wow, thank you so much. What can I say? I'm the nicest. Thank you very much. Is it really okay? Ah, dude, come on. The mayor says nothing new. He has, like, one piece of dialogue he can say. Here you go, May. Ooh, thank you. That makes me happy. Hey, Kent, have a piece of cake. Thanks. I bought a piece of pie for you, Stu. Wow, is this for me? Thanks. After I read, I'll learn all about all sorts of mysterious veins. And Pastor Brown, here's your tomato. Oh, thank you. It's my favorite. A person who has no one to love is sadder than a person who cannot get the love they want. Okay. I'm going fishing, kids. Later. Study hard. Eat your vegetables. Because I grew them. The town's going to suffer, like, a vegetable shortage. They're like, why isn't Artie, like, shipping more co crops? I'm like, well, I've got all the money I need. I don't need to do that. Ooh. Sure is nice of my wife to make me donuts every morning. Can we all just take a moment to appreciate that the overall plot of Harvest Moon is that there's a guy who's a farmer, and that time literally does not pass unless he is outside? Am I the only one that thinks that's a little weird? Imagine being someone else in this world, and it's just like, you're frozen in time, you can't do anything until this farmer walks outside of his house. Great TV show idea. Just change the premise a little bit. I did not mean to push the fast forward button there, but I guess it happened. <laughs> At least I know the fast-forward button, though. Uh, I just put the fence up around my house. But I'll, I'll let that happen. I've abused my time powers enough. Okay, does somebody know what causes the birds to go outside your house? Because I think that actually adds to your, like, in-game counter for happiness, which you actually need in order to get the party photo at the end. My dad's gonna come to evaluate my farm and the fisherman, it's gonna be, So, fisherman, what do you think? It's like, well, I don't really know if he's gone fishing yet, even though I've clearly seen him. Or it'll be like, yeah, he's gone fishing yet. Okay, yeah, I released that, like, immediately. And summer just standing at the water's edge makes you feel cool and comfortable. And the sky is blue. He's finally stopped asking me if I've gone fishing yet. Nah, I'm sorry about that. I do not want it to rain tomorrow. I want the first several days of autumn to all be sunny. Okay, seriously, I could not have pulled it out faster. Well, that was lucky. Like, I released it immediately after it started bobbing and it didn't catch anything. And there! I do not understand, like, what the timing is for that, because I thought it was just release it as soon as you possibly can. If you do it quickly enough, then you catch the fish. But I'm almost thinking that must not be it, because... I don't know. Maybe it's just there's a random amount of time you have to reel it in by. Finally, we arrived at second autumn. 
I feel a little better after talking with my mom. Aw, good. Yay, it's gonna be sunny tomorrow, too. It's good to know that Miss Robot can actually be supportive of her daughter. And comforting. Very nice. This also means it's Ellie's birthday today. Oh dear, not you two again. Look at these splendid grass fields, sugar pie. Aren't they beautiful? Let's save this wonderful scene in our love memories. That's a wonderful idea. You're so wonderful, sugar pie. Oh, honey bunch, you embarrass me so. Please stop making out on my farm. Ugh. The guy is so creepy. Just creepy looking. You two again? You were just here! Excuse me, I heard there was a vineyard around here. Also, how did I warp to my house when I walked out of my barn? I see. Thank you very much. Is the wine that delicious, Honey Bunch? Yes, it's the one the gourmet recommended. I really want to drink it with you. Oh, Honey Bunch, you make me so happy. Okay, I need a sign or something that says no making out on the farm. Only me and Maria can do that. Yeah, I walked out of my barn and it put me at right inside my house. That was funny. Oh, the flowers don't last throughout fall and winter. Oh, man. That's disappointing. She was told not to move so much, but she doesn't listen. Right, she's pregnant. Ooh, Anne's pregnant now. Cool, see ya. My brother's more annoying than Cliff. <laughs> Is it about the pregnancy, or just... in general? <laughs> hey, Cliff. Or, hey, Gray. You have enough time to tease other people. Okay, I figured that Poppery would get pregnant before Anne would. Maybe I'm just better friends with Cliff. Hey, Poppery. Nope, okay. Hmm. Apparently, I'm just really good friends with Cliff. Do, do you not know that my wife is pregnant? Because I thought you get too talked about that. Hey, Ellie. Happy birthday. What, a birthday gift? Thank you. Hello. <laughs> Married, but nothing has changed. <laughs> what was with that? <laughs> My spirit is going to soar. Please favor Flower Bud Bakery. Oh, that's very nice. If her father were alive, I wonder if he'd be happy or angry. Yeah. It's a slippery slope, to be sure. Let's check in on Kai and Karen. I wonder if they're expecting a baby as well. Hey, Kai. Probably not. Wine is a living thing like humans and animals. Everything on Earth is alive. Doesn't it feel so good to work so hard you want to collapse? No. I regret it any time that I'm about to collapse. <laughs> Which pretty much never happens. I think that's going to do it for this episode of Harvest Moon 64. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. I think our, our baby will be born in the next episode. And, man, I'm liking how the days are flying by much faster now that I'm not watering and harvesting crops. Hope to see you next time. Have a great day, and God bless.